I want to shed some light on an issue that a lot of my clients talk about and mention in my sessions. And this is how their sex life changes throughout their relationships. In the beginning of the relationship, there is a lot of passion and high level of desire and arousal is easy and there's a lot of sexual connection, but the longer they are together in a relationship, the more their sex life changes and the more difficult it is to maintain that passion and that flame of a sexual desire and sexual connection between them. So let me tell you how single sex is easy while relationship sex is not. My name is Helena Nista and I'm a Tantric Sex Coach. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I make videos about great sex, legendary pleasure, about Tantra and relationships. So make sure to subscribe to my channel in order to receive my regular videos. And now let's get on with today's topic. When you are single, you either date, you might have lovers, you might get involved in casual sexual situations, or you might be celibate. But if you do decide to have a lover, you usually catch up maybe once a week or so, and usually have sex every time you meet, because you don't see each other very often. And that sex is mostly fun, it's usually anticipated and awaited and so it's exciting and passionate and comforting or playful etc and it is that because it is free from everyday routines or emotional complications it's not hard to make sex exciting when you only see each other from time to time it's not hard to create passion and anticipation when you've missed each other and it's not that difficult to make sex fun and playful when you make keep making an effort and keep making coming up with new ideas and ways to spice up your sex life together dating and casual sexual situations are free from uh, everyday routines and stress and dramas we don't usually see our partners when they're grumpy or when they are at their low points and we don't usually experience resentment if they forget to do the laundry or take the trash out we don't see them very often so they are surrounded by an aura of secrecy and mystery and we wonder, what do they do when I'm not there, when I'm not with them? Are they having a good time when I'm not there? It all adds to the energy of, of discovery and mystery around them, which makes them so much more alluring and attractive to us. But things change when a casual lover becomes a living beloved. And we become very familiar with them, not just with who they are as a human being, but also with all, all their habits even the annoying ones. <laughs> we see them when they are happy and when they are not well. We take care of them, we support them and we um, experience all the ups and, and downs together, all the happy moments and all the miserable ones. And the sex life shifts as well. We trade that aura of mystery for cozy safety and comfort. We no longer question where they are or who they are seeing because we know their schedules by heart. And with all that familiarity and coziness, we lose some of the passion and excitement about making love to them. Instead of putting the makeup on, shaving or dressing up, we just put PJs on and wait for them in front of the telly. So the evenings become more of a time to catch up on our chores, not so much the time to be intimate and to build connection and closeness. And on the weekends, instead of making love for hours and hours and hours, we um, give that time to cleaning the house and catching up with the relatives or catching up on our to-do lists. And so the passion shifts as well and the sexual fever turns more into a game of priorities where sex finds itself lower and lower on the list of our, our priorities and so instead of welcoming our lover with candles and lingerie we opt more often for netflix and a, and a takeaway and instead of uh, doing our best to show our best face to the to our partner we more show them our more true and less exciting selves so what happens is we start to create this container of love which is stable and cozy and, and reliable but less exciting and passionate and then we ask where did the sexual passion go where did our steamy evenings go and why am i not that attracted to my partner anymore for most couples the longer they are together the less sex they have 
and the more they feel tired and stressed or even sometimes resentful about the things that their partner said earlier on so that makes them less inclined to be sexual to be intimate with the partner and this is when many couples start to ask are we in crisis and what can we do to bring the spark back and this is where things get real for a truly loving and committed relationship because in order to create a relationship which is full of lust and desire and passion and amazing intimate connection, we need to decide to make it so. We need to decide to consciously keep putting effort and keep creating that in our lives because single sex or early relationship sex is easy but a committed relationship sex is not because we move on from being moved by our hormones and more animalistic desires we move on to being moved by our deep love and a passion to be with our beloved intimately and sexually that genital desire becomes replaced by a heart desire where we say i want to uh, make love with my partner often I decide to keep creating that passion and deep intimate bonding in this relationship and I am consciously putting effort into bringing passion pleasure and sex sexual ful fulfillment into my relationship some lucky couples maintain that sizzle and spark for a long time and they cannot take keep their hands off of each other for for many many years but for the rest of us life kicks in and routines come in and the passion starts to diminish and decrease and this there's nothing wrong or unhealthy about that in itself except it's a signal and a message for us that we should hear and react to the signal being it's time to start making very conscious choices in this relationship do i watch netflix tonight or do i prepare a roman romantic evening for the two of us do i allow my tiredness to get in the way of our intimate connection or do i allow sex to invigorate me and bring more energy into our passionate connection do I move into my chores and to-do lists or do I prioritize our sex life? I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that it was helpful. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and uh, leave me a comment down below. Tell me how do you deal with a reduced passion in a relationship and what are your go-to ideas and experiences that you bring into your loving container loving union in order to bring back that sizzle and spark and passion.